episode is presented by Time Track Go, the simply better employee time clock software that is going to make your life easier. The unique graphical employee time card helps you quickly identify and fix mistakes, cutting your editing time in half so you can go on with your day. Time Track Go will not only save you time and money each week, but the easy to understand user interface and the ability to turn a tablet into a time clock will get you and your team up and going in just minutes. And now your hours can go to your favorite payroll systems, including Gusto, ADP Workforce Now, Paychex, and many more. Find out what a simply better solution can do for your business too. To learn more and sign up for a 14-day free trial, go to www.timetrackgo.com. That's T-I-M-E-T-R-A-K-Go.com or call 888-321-9922. Let's go. Welcome back, folks. What's good tonight, Walt? It's, it's good, man. I'm excited. Another season's coming to an end, and another season believe it. has started, man. Season seven on the horizon. Yeah. I'm excited for it, man. It's it's been, yeah, it, it's flown by, man. Did we technically record already for it? Did we record the first one for it already? Kinda. I think the first I one think we did. Yeah, I think the first one already posted. Did we, season seven? I think so. Think so? Wasn't that the first one? We no, did it can't things? be because we're doing the in review now. This has got to be the last one. This has got to be the last one. And when we posted last was the second to last, the season six. I don't know. We'll <laughs> I see. mean, either. We'll see. Whatever's out there, guys. But uh, yeah, I love doing the season in review. I love. I think it's a huge cheat for anybody new to the show. Go oh, listen yes. to all the seasons in reviews, and then you can be like, "Oh man, I want to. Oh, I want to." Because this is, we don't do it in advance. We do it in review. Yeah. Yep. Because we're gonna recap all the episodes. I'm gonna start. We got 12 episodes for this season. Well, I guess 13 counting this one, but 12. We we're, we're gonna. I'm gonna take you through the first six, and then Walt's gonna end it off with the last six that we did. Oh, and that yep. works perfect. Because oh no, I got the six though. <laughs> it was a switch of oh anyway it doesn't matter all okay. right yeah, i could do it first six because i know why you said that number yes six. exactly go yeah. for it yeah go for it i'll okay. do the last six okay so the first episode that we did was global transformations with keith o'brien and carmen vison vision yeah. uh, they joined us to discuss payroll transformation uh, we discussed their payroll origin stories and how they got into the payroll. Yeah. And no, and I guess it's not a coincidence. It wasn't their first choice, right? I don't think. You know, if I remember nope. them correctly. Like all of us, we fall I into I, it, except Walt. I think I'm, I think I'm <laughs> except the Walt. So far, somebody's gonna. There's yeah. gonna be another one you like, like you somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I so love we, that episode. I'm sorry to cut you off. I love that yeah. episode because Carmen is like has a, a lot of knowledge on the global side. Go peep her, listen to that, follow her. Mm-hmm. So they again they gave us that global perspective. And still, I still I'm still wrapping my head around payroll transformation. If you don't know what it is, payroll transformation is when a team does not process payroll. They are figuring out the strategy. They're trying to do I don't know if you're in payroll when you wish you could just stop. So you can be proactive and plan and strategize and be do all the strategy things, but you can't because you always have to process and do something and get somebody a report and do this project and do that audit. Payroll yes. transformation was created to do that. They're a team of payroll people that are not processing, but they're trying to figure out the we- best way, the best systems to implement, the best tools to use, the best talent to have and train with. Yeah. And that's what payroll transformation is. It's such an amazing concept to me. Just learned about it this last 12 months. It's great. It's amazing. They taught us more about it. Sylvia put us onto it in the beginning. Um, yep. Shout out to Sylvia. So thank you. So a little bit about Keith. He volunteers as a member at GPA, Global Payroll Association. And Carmen is a principal payroll consultant based out of the UK. 
Yeah. So that was a very great uh, episode, as Brian alluded to. And uh, they really taught us a lot about what payroll transfer, global payroll transformation global. is. So I think I really want to thank them for coming on and sharing their wealth of knowledge with us. Episode number two of season six was payroll jobs and cybersecurity. So we've been on this cybersecurity kick, kick, like whether that's in the true crime, true payroll uh, crime yeah. episodes on a normal show. Yeah. Even I think we sprinkled some of that as far as security from it's about your paycheck show. everywhere we talk you know? about it everywhere yep. news pod it's, it's yeah. everything we, we touch it because it's so rampant yeah. again going back to that stat it's going to increase cyber crime is going to increase over 300 percent in the next couple of years 300 yeah. percent you know what i'm saying it's gonna it's gonna more than triple yep because yep. everything is leading towards automation, leading towards AI, and th things that are these schemes that they're doing, I believe they're become they're going to become more sophisticated. They already have AI that can copy the sound of your voice. Yep. Already, people your pretty image. soon copy your image. Everything. Pretty soon, pretty soon, people are just going to be calling you just to get the sound of your voice. Mm -hmm. they've been doing that for a long time, though. Yes, they've been mm -hmm. doing that for a while. Yep. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Well, yeah that was, if, That's if, what the episode was about. We talked about the importance of establishing controls and processes regarding cybersecurity for your company, for your team, for your payroll. We discussed challenges and ways companies can protect themselves. We also discussed how disgruntled employees can bring potential harm to data. Yeah. The yeah. way out. That's one right. of the key points in there that That's we touched right. on. And, unintentional. And, and brought up unintentional things that can happen. And so like, Case in point, I believe there was an episode we talked about someone in a, a, a city in California. They oh. they were the only person who had the, the codes or oh, the, the passwords. Access. Yes, and they deleted their access or something like that, or they disappeared, so they the people couldn't get in contact with them. Yep, and they were the only person. They were operating in the silo. So yes. I think that this was a, a excellent, another excellent episode. Yep, episode number three. We walked, we took a glimpse inside the world of payroll sales with William Ford joined us to discuss the world of payroll sales. He's the owner of Coast to Coast Payroll and Payments and a sales broker for HCM services. He discussed what's the things that are challenging and rewarding about payroll sales. We asked them like, hey, are you privy to like the technology that's coming out for payroll and he said, hey, yeah, sometimes we are. It just, just depends on the relationship mm -hmm. between us and the company. It was, it was a fascinating conversation that we had with him. And to, to really, because I think that's something that fascinated you and I both. Yeah. Is the payroll sales aspect of things. Yeah. Just like, damn, oh, that's so awesome. I remember one of my CFOs that I worked for back in the day used to tell me, well, you need to get into payroll sales. You need to get into payroll sales. And just never did. I sales period is the highest paying job in the world and they just i think yeah yeah i wish somebody told me that and guided <laughs> me out of high school into sales because <laughs> I, I had the stigma of oh i don't want to sell i can't sell that i don't want to do that i don't want to do that mm -hmm. but uh, yeah yeah Same that was thing. a great episode i love william ford william's great man um, shout out to william yep shout out to coast payroll and payments go check yes. them out all right number four it was one of our best practice episodes, and it was processing exception transactions. Yes. So this, in this episode, we defined what exception transactions are. We discussed about, we discussed creating workflows and solutions behind those things. And just to give you brief examples of some of the other things we talked about, creating workflow, determine who is authorized to submit approved and or processed certain requests, determine if there's a minimum or maximum amount that can be processed, create and use proper earn codes, which, which kind of goes into our next episode as well. Determine if your current payroll software can provide a solution or if a third party provider is required. If you already have a current workflow, examine it to be sure that it is still the best solution for your company. Sometimes you get just like, we get in that mindset, hey, this is the way it's always been. Yep. And as we learn in this industry and in this 
corporate world, that's not a good enough answer. Mm. Most of the times, your supervisor Never. and the C-suite and executive people are going to be like, Worst that's answer. not a good answer. Yeah. yeah. So, and then the last but not least, and probably most important, is document and add to your SOPs. So document the process, at, create that standard operation op, operating procedure for this process when it comes to exception transactions. Because if it's not documented, then that gives people wiggle room to say, "Well, I didn't know that." Oh, yeah, I, I didn't, didn't know that. You never told us. You never said anything. I never signed anything. Document it. Document and then it. rinse and repeat after that. Keep reviewing this periodically <laughs> yes. to make sure. No, the technology hasn't changed and thing like yep. so that. You're not doing things just because. Yep. yep. Absolutely. Number cool. five, best practice. Another best practice episode, payroll codes. So that that was covering all type of codes. That's deduction, earn, tax, all those different things is what we talked about. And we discussed we discussed the importance of proper code setup and use. So meaning like you don't want to use an earning code to credit back somebody's benefits or vice oh, versa. No. You want to yeah, exactly. use the wrong code. Yes. So like you don't want to use usage. a deduction code to try That's to pay right. somebody's earnings or right. whatever, you know? So usage is very important. We talked about how, the, how the use of coding can impact accuracy. It can impact yeah. reporting. It can, it can impact compliance, auditing, Absolutely. transparency. Absolutely. It can impact so many things just from the setup point. And how you use these codes, right? So that's important that you, you got to make sure that you use the correct codes and make sure that you set these things up properly. And then number six, before I passed the baton, it was a very special episode to me. It was with my, my cousin, Patrice Whitley. She's over at Visionary Life Coaching. And she is a life coach. She graced us with her presence and just explained who she was and what her vision, her life coach goals are for her company and how a life coach can help improve or positively impact our lives. So I think that was very, one of the things that stuck out is this basically they say, get help, yeah. reach go find ways to become better budget. One of the things she said is budget and take it seriously. Take your pay, take yourself seriously. I yeah. remember somebody told me that just from a, it was in a counseling session and it was at work. She, and they said, you take everybody else seriously. Well, take yourself seriously. Yeah, amen. That episode had a lot of really good ones. That one I urged folks to listen to. Yeah. Especially to give yourself a break from work for a second. Yes. And just listen to it, how to, the wellness piece of it. That's so important. Yeah. All right. I'm going to take the last six here. Episode seven was true payroll crime stories. Payroll plotting. Intel had issues with one of its chips that created vulnerabilities, and we discussed the payroll murder, a murder in Aurora, Colorado, where a healthcare employee and his friends collected at least 750K and planned out a murder of his boss after they found out. Yes, brother. That was crazy. So even though the, the his last name is Smith, even though he plan he's the one who planned it and didn't carry it out, they still found him guilty of mm -hmm. first degree murder people were because singing. he planned it out yes mm -hmm. they were singing he did he planned it I, he told me to do it he told me to yes. do this yep so that was a good one true the true payroll crimes are always fun mm -hmm. episode eight was back to best practices for audits part one audits yes. were deep yeah so we yes. broke it up into two parts and yes. you could go on and on about audits there's probably so much that we didn't mention um, but uh, like we say a lot, we want to give you enough to spark some interest, go research, go, uh, we, go look at other sources. We didn't get as granular as we could. We oh, heck no. Yeah. We really, yeah. really could have gone deep, mm -hmm. deep into auditing. Yeah. We just went surface level, I think. Sur yeah, just kind of over overview. Yes. Yes. So in that, in the part one, we defined um, differences in the word reconciliation, audit, and data validation. Yes, we also was... just yeah that was a big for me because we always do those things but it's like what are doing those things so we broke that down we went we dug into that we co covered the basics why do we audit what do we need to audit so why we audit we do it for accuracy we do it for to mitigate fraud risk compliance and of course improve processes 
What do we audit? We audit employee data, tax withholdings, time and attendance, benefits, payroll Seven. codes, et cetera. Yeah. When do we audit? As much as you need to really becomes the bottom, <laughs> yes. but you should build in as many frequencies as you can. So what I rule of thumb for us is because we go through a lot of triage situations and rebuilding situations is audit weekly as you stabilize something. As you're building that sustainability, you want to audit weekly, but then it's okay, at least monthly, some stuff monthly, quarterly, quarterly. Yep. and then other things can be annually. Yep. One of the things that lends very easily to annually are W-2s, and then like the you can reconcile the quarters in the past and look at that. So that's the wins. And then, so that was number episode number eight for audits for part one. Episode nine, brought to you by from Time Track Go. Yeah, we nine. yeah we talked to Chris and Brian at Time Track Go, and it was an it man it we learned so much in this episode. Yes. I'm a, I'm a, I'm like I'm not a history buff, but I love the origin of things. Right. Yes. I learned yes. to really appreciate like learning about the past to move into the future. So Brian had um, a wealth of knowledge only because he's been oh, in the game so long. Awesome. You know, he's not an old guy. I, I was called, I was making jokes. I, I think I made him feel bad. I was like, call him father time because he oh, used to work yeah. on time <laughs> clocks he's and so he knows so much. I know. <laughs> and I was like, hey, father. okay, anywho, sorry, Brian. I... But we discussed like how long ago, the company was in business. Time Track Go has been in business for 40 years. Yes. Well, let me rephrase. Time Track has been in business for 40 years. Time Track Go is their new product that they're developing, simply better solution for, for time and attendance, right? Yeah. We were talking about like the wooden time. There's a wooden time oh, clock. And I saw a picture. Me, Remember, we that saw the epic. picture. Yes. That was epic to me, man. That like, was crazy. I was like, wow, it, we need to build like our own payroll museum. That'd be great. I would love to visit that. Hey, right? well, he broke down and said like how some of the time clocks used to work, and yes, even even for their time, how yeah. sophisticated yes. they were. Yeah, for even for their time before the digital age came in, so the beginning was, of computers and all that yes. stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. It, it, it was it was amazing, and just to see the evolution. Yep. of time clocks that he gave like in the last 20 and 30 years. We used yeah. to say they used to have to run lines and lines of wiring. Cr- just to he said clock the clocks clock. had to be connected. Each clock had to be connected with a wire so you could get time. Oh, what did he say? That was crazy. Punches. You you couldn't get punches in real time. You had to wait yes. until this period was over. And then yes. after periods, oh, you yes. get punches. Are you kidding me? Employees now can edit their own punch in real time like is crazy so that was episode number nine shout out to time track go episode number 10 best practices for time and attendance and it was also national payroll week so we had a lot of fun that week we would drop in all kind of content on linkedin for um, national payroll week we launched our website it's about payroll.io that week we launched it's about your paycheck too that it's about your paycheck.com that week as well so it was a really big week for payroll as a whole really big yeah. week for us and shout out um, to everybody who did the video yes thank you, thank like, you video yes, um, thank, thank you, you so to much. payroll we got we had a few people that kind of took their time gave me the I edited and we put this nice little thing together it was awesome can't wait to do it again next year like more time yeah. to prepare that was episode 10. And, yep. Episode 11 was best practices, part two of auditing. And yes. we discussed different types of audits. For instance, document reviews, data reviews, compliance reviews, right? You got to order your rules and regulation, your policies. They're, they're, I, f- I don't know if it was that episode or what we were, like, we were talking about, like outdated policies that could be in your handbooks and like what yes, you yes, gotta yes. update that's auditing your compliance mm-hmm. um do an ot review are your ot rules in order things like that yes especially if you're in different states 
and then different states have different rules. California, you know yes. how that goes. And, and like, you so got to keep up. So again, back to the compliance thing, the OT thing. You like you got to make sure that your income, your systems are up to date with the compliance yes. as well. Because don't yeah. think that you they, it automatically gets updated for you. It, maybe or maybe not. You want to always keep your systems honest. You always want to keep your system of record honest. And some systems do that. Some systems don't. So you need to find that out and learn that. Yep. Um, another one for uh, types of audits is journal entries, right? Your GL, your finance, yes. your Holy Trinity partners, right? You want to make sure they're good. Yeah. And and then we came across something that was interesting because it, it caused me and Walt to be like, what is this now? It was independent third-party audits. Now, yes. I, I initially took it as... Per, uh, intentionally hiring a third party company to come in and Same. check your payroll calculation, check your pay. And I was like, although a good idea, I had never heard of such a thing, but this is really like your, your yearly audits, right? For instance, 401k, you have a team, you have a partner, an auditor partner that helps you with the 5,500 to file. But in yeah. that process, they will come out with recommendations because they're going to pick sample sets and ask different questions and you may That's fail. Fair. You may be like, Ooh, I don't have it. And mm -hmm. in that case, it's a great opportunity to be like, well, dang, why didn't I have it? Why don't I have it? And let's mm -hmm. fix that for next year. That's the purpose so, of the audit, man. Yeah. That's the purpose of the audit. And then last but not least, we ended off with true payroll crime. And this one was kind of like a, almost like a, but like an ad hoc, like all of a sudden kind of episode because in Vegas, casinos got hit by hackers, cybercrime. Yep. So Caesars yep. Casino had to pay, well, they chose to pay ransom to get their operations going. You know what I mean? And other casinos were hush. We don't know. They they weren't reporting that, man. Like this case, this article, so the story, all that. So this article had a key word in there, and I, and I want to know if it says if it if you hear or read the same thing that I did. Mm -hmm. So it said it that Caesars paid fifteen million, mm -hmm. the fifteen million ransom to the cybercrime group just before its computer systems were compromised. So that means they paid off of speculation that these people were probably threatening them like hey you better pay us money or we're about to blast oh this, this all over the place so that was a key couple of words right there just before yeah. this computer systems were compromised but so they hadn't even been fully hacked yet so they i think they, they were hacked off the threat off. maybe off, off the threat yes and they realized like oh dang they have access yep they did Let, enough to be like yes Give my 15 million. Yep. And this same group had also demanded 30 million in ransom from MGM mm -hmm. and the vi another victim on the strip for cyber attack. So that was episode 12. We talked about that. And that wraps up the season. We we had a really great season. What we realized organically is that we were naturally following the quarters for our seasons. Yeah. It, it Isn't just that crazy? To work out perfect. It just it's happened to work out people. perfectly, man. We work in quarters. Like it's it's it, we weren't do because we didn't verbalize it until now. We were like, oh, we should do it quarterly. And then we look back at all of our episodes and we were like, oh, we were doing it already quarterly. Kind of worked it was out great. just that way. Yeah. It was great. So that's what we're gonna do intentionally now. We're gonna every quarter will be a new a season and a new reason to talk about payroll. But other than that, folks, we love you. It's about payroll.io. Go check out the new stuff. It's about your paycheck.com. Check us out on LinkedIn. It's our biggest presence for the show. We are we continue to keep growing the it's about your paycheck show. Yep. Check it out. There are three new shows behind subscription. One is free. We get the news pod for free. But we also have this. We also have Safe Talk, and it's about, well, I guess the three new shows is It's About Your Paycheck and News Pod and Safe Talk, right? Yep. Yeah, yep. that's it. So actually, so yeah, most of them are free. Go check it out. 
go check go, it out. Go, go check them out. Yeah, go check it out. You're missing out. I love Safe Talk. Yes, it, man. Yeah. It's a, that one will must stay behind a paywall because we get very sensitive and not us, but we talk about you know, us too a little yeah. bit. We, we share some passionate. stuff. We get passionate. 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 Um, we, get, we get we let the, the motions fly a little bit. And we're talking about work stuff. We're talking about yeah. life issues that we face at work. Yes. Perfect. Um, yeah. So go check it out, folks. Go check it out. And uh, that's it, man. That's it. It was a great show again. We love you guys. See you next time. See you. Peace. Peace. Thank you for tuning in to It's About Payroll. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and most importantly, keep going.